All right, so we're just gonna get straight into this video today. If you like this video, please if you like it, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I stream live on Twitch every Sunday and Monday night at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. There's gonna be a whole bunch of links down in the description below, and I'll try to iterate them within this video and see how that works. But without further ado, let's get into it. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I have a new subscriber alert that I have created for Twitch or Mixer or any other kind of platform you wanna use it on. We'll be converting it to a WebM format. Okay, so to start the project, you're gonna to go to new project. And for this one, I'm gonna name it new subscriber. And press enter. Go down here to the cog wheel. I'm gonna change the format to 1280 by 720. 30 frames a second and 30 frames a second. Save. Go to edit, right click over here in the media pool, new fusion composition. We're gonna change this to four seconds and create. Pull it down into your workspace. Now we're going to fusion. When you get into uh, fusion, you're gonna have this media out node right here. These are called nodes. Uh, to get it to snap to the grid like that, you're going to right click down here, arrangement tools, and make sure to grid is selected. All right, so to make uh, the slanted polygon, I don't know if that's what it's called or not, but I'm going to right click in here, import media, and I'm going to import a polygon that I've created from another Affinity Designer. So I'm going to import this from when I created it in Affinity Designer, and I'm going to have some videos on that here soon. So stay tuned for that. Bring this down here and just leave it as a median. You're going to want a background node and you're going to want a polygon node and connect them. And then we're going to need a merge node. We're going to merge these two together and see it over here. I've actually got these this wrong. Um, I'm gonna disconnect these. This needs to go to green. Background needs to go to yellow, so that you actually see your resolution that you're working with. Now I'm gonna scale this up, and after we're here, we are going to do create the outline on this. Now I'm gonna click the polygon because that's what we're going to be using to create it. And I'll go ahead and just bring it over here into this screen. Now, if you didn't know what I just did there, you see these two nodes down here at the bottom. Whichever side I have this clicked on is the side that, that that one will show on. So our full merged together picture is on the right. So I'm going to click polygon because I'm creating a polygon. And I'm going to click these corners. Get them as straight as I can so that I've created this now polygon. I'm gonna pull it out of the way. All right, so since I got the big polygon together now, I need the smaller one. So I'm gonna pull another polygon tool and another background tool in here. Connect them, disconnect this polygon and connect the new one. Now we're gonna create the smaller one. And as you can see, this line is not straight. You can grab this note, this side over here, and pull it until it is straight. Right there. Now we have our other polygon. You can delete your picture, because we don't need that now. And uh, I guess as you can see, this polygon is huge. So I'm gonna scale it down with the size here. All right, so once you get them resized, you start resizing them just a little bit to make them fit better. Seems like I can't get this one to size correctly. Once you get the sizes together, I'm not worried about this over here on the left. I'm not really looking at it. 
because that's just this one polygon. I have these two media outs here. Now both the colors are black. So on the background you check is where you change the color for these. So what a background. I'm gonna make this a light gray for the bottom one. And I'm gonna get a darker gray for the top. For the top one, you can press control and you just scroll wheel to zoom in here. And I'm just gonna set it right on top of it. Control to zoom back out. And then your middle mouse button will help you just move the whole entire screen like that too. Now I can make this bigger. Not much bigger, but bigger. So we have a better area to work with. All right, so I'm gonna move this down here to the bottom because I want it to be just right above the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna do the same with this. Move it straight down until it's right on top of it. One, just a little bit more down. Let's go like a pixel. There we go. So there's the basic shape of our animation. Now I want to add text to it. So I'm gonna grab a text node, bring a text node in here. We're gonna deselect these merge nodes. That's gonna be kind of our final merge. So we gotta merge some text in here. So I'm gonna click on the text, try to connect it to the background, but it's gonna give me a merge node, just like that. So now I got text here. New subscriber. And font really doesn't matter. It's just your preference. So choose the font you like the best. Bungie, there's the one I like. It's like, I knew I, was, I knew there was one I liked. All right, so I'm gonna scale this up just a little bit. Size it in here. All right. And now since I wanna transform Move this out of the way. So I want to transform all these together. I want the new subscriber and everything to move in unison. I'm gonna have to put the transform node on the merge. So grab a transform node and merge. I'm gonna leave this down here for a while. We're not gonna animate that just yet. I need to come up here to the top one because on the top one, I want to put text in this also. So I'm gonna bring the text down here. And in this one, we're going to type welcome. I'm going to use Bungie again. And then I got to grab text and try to merge it with the background to create myself a merge node. Click this little thing so the, it all shows together. Now we got welcome. It needs to be resized so it fits in the square. And then I'm gonna try to center it the best I can. There we go. And now when I transform this one, I wanna transform it by itself also. And both these transform nodes, I need to attach them to the merge node. All right, so I'm transforming this again to get this back to where I want it to be at because it moved. I'll go to the, so since this isn't on the bottom now, I'm gonna go to this transform node. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it down to where it's flush with the bottom of the screen. And then I gotta move the welcome again. All right, everything's lined up perfectly again. And you have to do this sometimes because I don't know why, but it, it moves it whenever you're adding nodes and whatnot. So now I got the final merge node in here. All right, now I wanna animate these two different, these two things separately. So down here for this transform node, I'm gonna bring it over here to the left side. I'm gonna control and scroll out on this side so I can still see it all over there too. Now at frame 10, I want this to be the full size here. So these are your key frames. To start this animation, I want this is the center for it. This is the size for it. This is the aspect for it. I want this piece to be here at those three points at that time. Now at zero frames, I don't want it on the screen at all. So I'm gonna grab it, 
pull it all the way down here. Size is going to go to zero. Aspect is going to go to zero or 0.1. So whenever it animates, it animates up like that. Now I want to do the same thing to the transform or to the transform two for the top. And let's go ahead and bring that one into this viewpoint. Size, aspect, center. So I, size, aspect, and center at frame 10. At frame zero, one or off the screen, size to be zero, aspect to be zero. So now it animates in like this on the right side. That's what you see. All right. So after you got that, I got that animated in. I also want to smooth that out a little bit. So I'm gonna come up here to spline and this is all your keyframes that you just made. So once you're in the spline, I've got none of these selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and select everything that I have a keyframe for. Click this button so it shows me all my keyframes. I'm gonna highlight everything. I'm gonna press S to smooth it out. I'm not gonna touch any of these just yet. Let's see how this looks now. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna offset the welcome from the new subscriber. That's why we animated them separately. So let's click this. And just deselect those two. And transform two is the welcome. So deselect transform one. Do is I'm gonna press control. I'm gonna select all these nodes. Hold shift and I'm going to move this two frames to the right. So now that welcome should come in slightly after new subscriber. So there's a simple animation right there and I'm gonna connect this media out and I'm gonna show you how I got the final result. We're gonna go to edit. And so right here is the basic animation. I'm gonna click on it, control C, click off of it, control V. And then I'm gonna butt them up together like that. Now what we're trying to do here is we're trying to make it go reverse out in the opposite direction it came in. So on the copy, right click it, new compound clip. I'm gonna call this reverse. I'm gonna right click it again. I'm going to change clip speed, reverse the speed and change. So now it's an eight second clip. Since we did four seconds, it's twice as long. And we have it coming in. And we got it going out. Now I'm gonna make this one big old clip. I'm gonna select both of these, right click on it, new compound clip. We're gonna call this new subscriber. We'll go to deliver. Now to get this in an alpha channel, you have to uh, change the format down here. We're gonna change it to QuickTime, GoPro Cineform, 16 bit. Make sure individual clips is selected export as alpha. Now you're going to browse to where you want to have this clip located. Now I've selected where I want my clip located and I'm going to name it new sub for YouTube video. Add it to the render queue. It comes over here. We're going to click start render. The computer renders it pretty fast. If you have a older computer or something that doesn't have as much RAM as I do, it might not do it as fast. So now that clip is done, we're going to go to this MOV web converter. This website right here, I'll have a link down in the description below. We're going to browse. Now I found the file, new sub for YouTube video, open it up, we're going to convert it. Now this is going to take a little while. 
So what we're going to do right now is you're going to go over to your stream elements. And I'm going to show you how to put this in stream elements. You're going to go over your stream elements and you're going to open this up. I got an unnamed overlay here that I use for all my stuff. I'm going to edit it. Click down here, alerts, add alert box. Now this is for subscriber alerts. So I'm going to click the cog wheel on subscriber, change video. Upload video, and now I gotta wait. It's gonna take a little while, so we'll be right back. All right, so once this is done converting, eventually you'll get this. Click this little download save button here. It'll bring you to another page. Add it to zip, click on this, and follow your download. Once you've downloaded it, go to your downloads. This will be the file right here. This is my other one that I did earlier. Right click on it, extract all, Browse to where you want it to extract to. You can go back over to your stream elements. Now we're going to do this. We're going to drag it in here. We're going to find it. There it is for me. Upload it. This is the old one I did a while ago. You can see the color variation is a little different. We're going to submit. And we're going to emulate a subscriber. Now you can leave that name there or you cannot. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If you don't want it there, select this one. And it'll be off screen. For me, my idea on this animation is let's go back to the layers. Let's bring this down so the alert box is above it. <clears throat> this is the alert box right here. And you resize it and move it. Let's go ahead and emulate it again. Make it smaller. Move it. Emulate it again. That was kind of my idea was for it to pop up above your camera. You can have it do that or you can move it down here. Or you can just have it appear in the middle of the screen. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do with this. You can use your imagination on how to do it. If you want this for free, you can download it from my Discord. Free templates, it'll be in here. It's not here yet because this video's not over, not done yet. But it'll be in here in the free templates. And I'll also upload all of the panels that I created here in this free templates also. So if you like those, you can check this out. They'll be here once this video is uploaded. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I stream live on Twitch every Sunday and Monday night at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And that'll be tonight. After this video goes up at 5.30, I'll be live on Twitch. So if you want to join me down there, the link will be for that will be in the description below. I've got my Discord. I've got the WebM converter file. i got DaVinci Resolve for free down there for you guys. And anything else that I can think of that I'm not thinking of right now, it'll be down there for you.